Good afternoon. My name is Joanna Flynn, and it is my privilege to serve as the Dean of Curriculum and Instruction at Penn College. I welcome you to the spring commencement ceremony, which begins with the entrance of the candidates for graduation from the School of Engineering Technologies and the divisions of Construction and Architectural Technologies and Industrial and Computer Technologies. Please join me in welcoming our candidates for graduation.
Entering next are the Pennsylvania College of Technology faculty and administration, and our platform party will complete the processional. The national anthem will be sung today by Tameka Carter, who is proudly employed at Penn College as a financial aid assistant. Please stand if you are able. Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, say.
Thank you, Tameka. Please be seated. Joining us today are family and friends who have in many different ways supported these candidates to reach the goal of graduation. On the platform are the college faculty and staff who have motivated, encouraged, and inspired our students as they completed their collegiate journey. Before us are the candidates for graduation who have become good friends, mentors, and colleagues developing relationships that will serve them well as they move into the future together. We join then as members of an extended support network to celebrate our candidates and to witness your accomplishments. That celebration now begins. And now it is my honor to introduce the president of Pennsylvania College of Technology, Dr. Michael Reed, who will preside over this spring commencement ceremony. Please welcome Dr. Reed. Thank you, Joanna, and good afternoon, everyone. It's your commencement. Good afternoon, everyone. There we go. Welcome, everyone, as we honor the accomplishments of the spring 2023 graduates of the Pennsylvania College of Technology. To our soon-to-be graduates, today we join with your family and friends in celebrating your success. As you prepare to embark on your next rewarding and memorable professional and personal journeys, I trust that each of you will build upon the skills and life lessons that you have learned here at Penn College to make your indelible mark in this world. Your skills and perseverance have led you earning Pennsylvania College degrees and certificates. You have the foundation for sustainable success as essential, indispensable employees in business, industry, and the public sphere. You, as well as your supporters, should be justifiably proud. In the Penn College community, which includes our faculty and staff comprising the platform party behind me, wish you all the best in your career pursuits. An enthusiastic well done to all the graduates who are receiving their degrees and certificates today. This ceremony will deliver milestone memories that each of you will cherish forever. As a college president and educator, acknowledging students as they embark on rewarding careers in significant life passages is a privilege that I will never take for granted. As you make your way in the world of work and service, I am confident you will make us all Penn College proud. Our goal is always to put our graduates in the most competitive position for long-term success. We are eager to hear about the accolades and rewards that are bound to come your way as you put forth your best effort. Please stay in touch with us and provide your insights. Our students, faculty, and staff can learn much from your hard work and future life experiences. Congratulations on your achievement and best, and best wishes to you and your family. Thank you. I would now like to introduce Dr. Jennifer McLean, Dean of Students. Good afternoon. President Reed, Senator Yaw, distinguished faculty and staff, friends, and most importantly, the May 2023 graduating class. It is my great pleasure today to introduce you to your student speaker. Penn College is filled with students who hold a deep passion for their major. Hard work and commitment is our brand. No one exemplifies that brand more than your speaker, Michael J. Sormelik. One of Mike's 13, that's right, 13 nominators, sets the scene st saying, I have experienced many gifted students during my tenure at Penn College, but never have I had the honor of the presence of such an ambitious, calculated student like Michael. Mike's nominators go on to discuss his technical skill, his passion, and his tirelessness. Rumor at the Earth Science Center is that the only way to explain Michael's productivity and tirelessness is the existence of his secret twin, Pykel, who helps him get it all done. 
some context for why the existence of Paykel may be plausible. Michael holds a near-perfect GPA, which is empirically an incredible, incredible accomplishment. Yet somehow, he made that happen while revitalizing the Service Technician and Operators Association as its president, and also serving on the executive board of the Penn, Co Penn College Diesel Performance Club. He is a tutor, a lab assistant, and has helped organize Skills USA, the annual diesel competition, and countless events at the Earth Science Center. He was a dinner speaker at the inaugural Penn College Diesel Competition for Career and Technology Centers in 2021, and spends endless hours sharing his passion for the work he has chosen. Today, Michael receives a Bachelor of Science in Building Automation Engineering Technology and an Associate of Applied Science in Electric Power Generation Technology, Diesel Emphasis. On Thursday, he received the President's Award, presented for leadership and service to the college, the Dr. Davy Jane Gilmore Award for leadership and service to Penn College, and the Earth Science Center Service Award, presented to a graduate who shows exceptional leadership, professionalism, and service to the majors at the Earth Science Center. It will surprise no one, given all of the above, and a few phenomenal internships along the way, that Mike is currently entertaining multiple offers of employment following graduation. There is no doubt that whatever he chooses and wherever he goes, he will continue to exemplify all that Penn College and its programs have to offer. It gives me great pleasure to announce you to your 2023 commencement speaker, Michael J. Sormilic. Thank you, Dr. McLean, for those kind words. First, I just have to pull up Jet Chat GPT. Can you write me a five minute commencement speech? I'm joking. This speech came from my heart, so hopefully, you take some things out of it, and hopefully, I don't mess it up. But we'll give this one shot. Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to take a moment to welcome everyone who has traveled near and far to be here today. It means so much to us that you've come to share this special moment. And what a beautiful day it is here in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. As I stand before you on this stage, I'm filled with a mix of emotions, excitement, pride, gratitude, and just a little bit of nervousness. But mostly, I feel an overwhelming sense of joy and gratitude for the opportunity to speak to you all today. I'm struck by the sheer diversity of backgrounds and experiences represented here. We come from different places, cultures, and walks of life, but today we are united by a common bond, our shared experience at Pennsylvania College of Technology. I must first give thanks to all who have helped me these past four years, including professors, faculty, friends, and uh, family. Unfortunately, I cannot name them all as I'd probably be the last one standing in this auditorium. However, there are a few that need special recognition. Chris Weaver, John Motto, Joseph Straw, and Mark Soans. Chris Weaver, John Motto, Welsh Hans, can you stand up? As well as Counterman, Ralph. They need a round of applause. Thank you. They supported me since the beginning. They're supporting me now. And I'm confident they'll be supporting me in the future. They and many more have said remarkable things about me. Things that have opened up opened opportunities that have allowed me to grow and experience new things, such as having the honor to speak to you uh, since I've been chosen as your commencement speaker today. And to put this in perspective, two of those I mentioned I've never even had as a professor. These are the kind of people here at Penn College. And more recently to my building automation professors, Todd Woodling and Craig Zimmerman, who have continued to support my curious mind, challenge me, and for always making me double think my reasoning for the past two years. I feel truly grateful for the wisdom, knowledge, and support they've all imparted upon me. To the professors at Penn College, I want to say that your dedication to your craft, your willingness to go above and beyond to help your students succeed, and your unwavering commitment to excellence are all qualities that I deeply admire and respect. You've taught us the importance of hard work, perseverance, and determination. You've challenged us to think critically, to question assumptions, and to never stop learning. You've inspired us to be our best selves, both inside and outside the classroom, but is up but it's your ability to teach not only education, but real life lessons as well that has made the biggest impression on me. 
But as we celebrate this milestone achievement, let us also take a moment to reflect on the importance of community. At Penn College, we've been part of such a supportive and inspiring community that has helped us to achieve our goals. Let us never forget the impact that our friends, family, and educators have had on our journey. They've supported us, encouraged us, and helped us to become the best versions of ourselves. Our journey at Penn College has been filled with memorable experiences, and it's been a privilege to be part of such a dynamic and inspiring community. I'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge that tomorrow is a special day for many of us, and hopefully you already know what that is. It's Mother's Day. There's your reminder. <laughs> a day to celebrate the amazing women in our lives who have nurtured, guided, and supported us along the way. So Mom and Kathy and Aunt Linda, happy Mother's Day. And to all of the other mother-like figures and mothers in the audience today, here's my happy Mother's Day in advance. I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. And to all of us graduates, our graduation is not their gift. So let's remember to take a moment tomorrow to express our gratitude to our mothers and loved ones who have helped us to get to where we are today. And now back on a serious note. We've all endured the ups and downs of college life during our time here. I've enjoyed every moment, and for the downs, I saw them as opportunities to learn and grow from. Our lives are full of choices, and it's up to us to make these decisions. We may not all have made the right decisions in the past, but we must have made the right ones to make it here today. I encourage you to think before you act or speak as today's world's ever-changing, and your opinion and voice matter. So it's so important to use them appropriately. I know many of you won't want to be reminded of this, but I want to touch on it. Our journey at Penn College has, been, has not been without its challenges. Like many of you, I started college in 2019, just a few months before the world was hit by a global pandemic. For those that have been here for four years, the impact of COVID has been felt by every single one of us. But it's important to note that despite these added challenges, we've persevered. I believe we'll be the last, or if not second to last, graduating class who's had to endure, endure these added challenges throughout college. We've had to adapt to new ways of learning, navigate remote classes for a very short period of time, and overcome obstacles we'd never imagined we'd face. But somehow, Penn College has continued to provide hands-on learning throughout it all. And I'm grateful, and that's because of the students and faculty here. It's felt like every year has been happening faster and faster, each with more memorable moments. Just weeks ago, I was drafting this speech from my heart, and now somehow I'm giving you this speech. I can look back four years and clearly remember it like it was yesterday, but I can't remember what I had for dinner last night. Four years happened just like that. Some of you may be happy to be leaving, or others sad to be leaving, but right now I feel neutral. I think it's just because it hasn't hit me yet. It wasn't until I heard a running joke my classmates had come up with about me that I realized reality. My building automation friends will laugh at this if they're even here and not over there at Kimball's. <laughs> but they would all claim that I have a twin brother who they called Pykel. Some actually believing it. Tyler, or also known Granger. My friends will somehow say I get 36 hours out of a 24-hour day, or how it seems I'm in multiple places at the same time, and how I'm constantly on top of things. You see, I'm the kind of person who would be emailing uh, my teachers at 3 or 4 a.m. just to share something interesting I found or ask a question about a project. And remarkably, I'd usually make it to my 8 a.m.s, even if I was just a few minutes late. But the truth is, I've just always been driven to make the most of my time here at Penn College. And while it may seem a little crazy to some, I think we can all appreciate uh, the importance of hard work and dedication, especially when it comes to achieving our goals. And I know that many of you can relate to that same drive and dedication. Through all the head-scratching, brain-frying projects, papers, and due dates, we somehow have held our sanity. And my fellow building automation classmates know what I'm talking about. It's crazy to know that that part of our lives has now passed. We all put in countless hours of hard work to place us in this auditorium today. And I'm so proud of what we've accomplished together. So to my twin brother, and to all of us that put in the time and effort to make this day, I congratulate you. And I'm not done yet. I want to ask my fellow graduates, to recall that feeling of excitement from the first couple weeks of college, the anticipation to start something new, and the energy of what was to come. These memories will be with you forever. They're the moments that make up our lives and shape us into who we are. We've learned to be adaptable, flexible, and to keep pushing forward, no matter what obstacles come our way. And that is what makes us unique as, unique as graduates of Penn College. We've shown resilience and strength in the face of adversity, and have come out stronger on the other side. And as we move on to the next chapter in our lives, I ask you to not miss another opportunity, but instead to take it. Embrace the excitement of the unknown, and let yourself be open to the possibilities that await you. 
The world is full of opportunities, but sometimes we're too scared or too uncomfortable to take them, almost like I was for this speech. We've all faced challenges and struggles along the way. We've learned the value of hard work, determination, and perseverance. And these qualities will serve us well in our next chapter. I'm reminded of two quotes, the first by Robert Frost, and it goes, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. And this couldn't be any more true. Each one of us has chosen a unique path to get here today, and each one of us will choose our own path moving forward. But one thing is certain, the education and experiences we've gained here at Penn College have prepared us to take on whatever challenges lie ahead. The second quote, which many of you may know, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Our time at Penn College has given us the tools, the knowledge, and the passion to do great work in our respective fields. But it's up to us to take that passion and to turn it into something meaningful. And remember, you, you are the ones that market and represent yourself. So to my fellow graduates, I offer my heartfelt congratulations on this momentous achievement. Let us celebrate this milestone together and let us look forward to what bright and promising futures that await us. And let us never forget the challenges we faced along the, along the way and the resilience and strength we showed in overcoming them. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you. Let's give another round of applause to Michael. At a commencement ceremony this morning, we presented a Penn College Distinguished Alumni Award to Sean Stabler, Vice President of Innovation for Sakasui Kydex, a global thermoplastics firm. Sean earned a Bachelor of Science in Plastics and Polymer Engineering Technology from Penn College in 2006 and an Associate of Applied Science in Plastics and Polymer Technology in 2004. Watch for more about Sean on PC Today after the final commencement ceremony, this ceremony, this afternoon. Also, at our morning ceremony today, we presented a posthumous Bachelor of Science in Welding and Fabrication Engineering Technology degree to Jared M. Keese, who is no longer with us. Jared had completed a substantial portion of his required coursework and had met all other academic requirements to earn his bachelor's degree. With our small class sizes and interactive labs here at Penn College, students, faculty, and staff get to know one another quite well. Jared is dearly missed by his friends and his mentors in our tight-knit college community. Jared's father, Ronald, accepted the diploma on his son's behalf. If you could please join me in a moment of silence for Jared. Thank you. As many of you know, the legal corporate body of the Pennsylvania College of Technology is its board of directors. This is the body that, by our charter, is given final responsibility for the governance, welfare, and all other interests pertaining to the college. Though some responsibilities are delegated, ultimate authority rests with the board. At this time, I would like to call upon Senator Jean Yaw, chair of the board of directors, to authorize the conferring of degrees at this ceremony. This is a very special occasion for all of you. The degrees being awarded have come from hard work, from the guidance and uh, wisdom of the faculty, and from the strong support of your family and friends. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I extend to all of the graduates our congratulations and best wishes and to all of the supporting family members, the faculty, and friends, I extend our thanks for your support. Now, I turn to my official duties. Dr. Reed, by virtue of the power vested in the Board of Directors of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I authorize you on behalf of the board 
to confer on each of these candidates the degree earned as certified by the appropriate school dean. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree please rise? You're wearing black robes. <laughs> Dr. Reed, upon recommendation of the faculty, I am pleased to inform you that these candidates have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree. Thank you. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of Pennsylvania College of Technology, I do hereby confer upon you the Bachelor of Science degrees you have earned with all their rights and privileges and with congratulations from the Board of Directors, Administration, and the faculty. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the candidates for all associate degrees and certificates please rise? <laughs> Dr. Reed, upon recommendation of the faculty, I am pleased to inform you that these candidates have satisfactorily completed the requirements for their respective associate degrees and certificates. Thank you. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by, by the Board of Directors of Pennsylvania College of Technology, I do hereby confer upon you the associate degrees and certificates you have earned with all of their rights and privileges and with congratulations from the Board of Directors, the administration, and the faculty. Congratulations. Please remain standing, and I would ask that the recipients of the Bachelor's of Science degrees also rise. You processed in today as candidates for the certificates and degrees that you have earned. A few minutes ago, I had the honor of conferring on you those degrees. As a symbol of your entry from student to graduate, I ask that you turn your tassel as I turn the tassel of your class representative. This symbolizes that you are now graduates of the Pennsylvania College of Technology. Congratulations once again, and, and you may be seated. Nice job. As individuals and institutions, we all pass through clear stages of development, points in time where we grow into new roles and responsibilities. This ceremony is one of those transition events for all graduates. Today, the Pennsylvania College of Technology will recognize individuals with academic honors. Outstanding academic achievement will be recognized for all students. The gold, silver, or white cord they wear during these ceremonies, white for honors, silver for high honors, and gold for highest honors can identify these students. Blue cords signify academic achievement for certificate students. In addition, we are proud to recognize graduates who are members in Phi Theta Kappa. Their gold stoles and gold tassels can identify these students. We also recognize graduates of the Alpha Chi Honor Society. The white stoles will identify these students. We would now like to recognize our veterans identified by their red, white, and blue cords who are graduating. Please stand. I'd ask our, our veterans to please stand and remain standing. I'd like our veterans to remain standing while we tell you a little bit about our veterans. Penn College has over 200 veterans on our campus. 
More than 150 of them have served on active duty in all branches of the military before coming to Penn College. They have fought in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and have served around the world in places like Germany, Kuwait, Japan, and all throughout the United States. We have over 50 students that are currently serving in the, re in the reserve components. Penn College students in the reserves and National Guard have deployed to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, Djibouti, Africa, Somalia, Poland, and Egypt. They have assisted in national emergencies and pandemic support and Hurricane Maria in the U.S. Virgin Islands. They have also responded to civil unrest missions in Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. All of this while pursuing their degrees here at Penn College. Please join me again in giving our veterans a round of applause. Thank you, and you may be seated. On Thursday, three Penn College Army ROTC cadets who are graduating this weekend were commissioned as second lieutenants and assigned their U.S. Army component branch. Upon commissioning, cadets commit to four years of active duty or eight years in the Army Reserve or, Dar or Army National Guard. Congratulations to the following cadets who were commissioned in a Bald Eagle Battalion ceremony held at Lock Haven University. Jesse D. Laird V of Chambersburg, who is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, is assigned to active duty in the Medical Service Corps. Trent D. Martin of Brownstown, who is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Construction Management, is assigned to the Army Reserve in the Quartermaster Corps. Adam T. Rowe of Halstead, who is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Construction Management, is assigned to active duty in the Aviation Branch. I believe Adam and Trent are both with us today also. Congratulations to these newly commissioned officers. We wish them all the best as they begin their service to our nation's military. Congratulations. During our ceremony, we will also acknowledge commencement awards for the graduates who earned recognition by faculty and staff for distinguished academic performance, leadership, service, and strong character. Awards will be announced by Mr. Anthony Pace, Dean of Enrollment and Academic Operations, and presented by Dean Flynn as graduates cross the stage. Graduates, are you ready? Are you ready? In just a few minutes, the ushers are going to begin leading you to the stage for the moment you've been waiting for. There is no greater honor for a college president than to mark your receipt of a well-earned diploma. As you cross the stage, I will greet you with a handshake, a fist bump, or an elbow bump, a high five, or with no contact presentation. The choice is yours, but there will be a photographer over there, so if you're doing something different, let me know ahead of time. And one last note before we begin the procession, it's a really special event. Parents and guests, we welcome you to come down front to capture your graduate crossing the stage. We just ask that you leave the area in front of our official photographers clear. At this time, Mr. Pace and the respective school representatives will present the, the candidates. Congratulations again. President Reed, I present the graduates of Building Science and Sustainable Design, Architectural Technology, and Architecture from the School of Engineering Technologies. Stephen Alex Adams.
Rodrigo Barrios Piedra. Zachary Ryan Burkhart. Terrell Levon Davis. Mark Attila Dosa. Bashoy Ayub Farid. Kaive Amir Hunt. Haley M. Calvin Gold. Benjamin Miles Kratzer. Bryce Anthony Martin. Dominic J. McClellan. Andrew Michael McMullen. Jacob Michael Pusateri. Amanda Faileen Ritter. Amanda is the recipient of the Dr. Davy Jane Gilmore Award for Leadership and Service to Penn College. Carter J. Simcox. Lex Ryan Yoakum. Christine Alexis Limbert. Rajni Thompson. Audrey M. Bowser. Cole Stephen King. Alec J. Rivera. Jared T. Emmert. Sasha Bella Gabri. Stuart Harrison Wolfarth. President Reed, I present the graduates of Applied Technology Studies, Residential Construction Technology and Management, Building Construction Technology, and Construction Science Technology from the School of Engineering Technologies. Riley E. Armstrong. Colin Wayne Bickers. Gabriel C. Capelli. Bryson C. Ebright. Alexander J. Feeman. Timothy J. Gilbert. Isaac Matthew Hernandez. Isaac is the recipient of the West Branch Susquehanna Builders Association Award for outstanding GPA, strong work ethic, communication, and a strong commitment to the residential building industry. Dennis Robinson, Jr. Philip L. Tondero. <laughs> Sam, 
Savannah Jane Zimmerman. Justin Allen Chandler. Colton S. Goff. Jackson Conrad Hay. Eric M. Lauber. Ryan Matthew Madigan. Connor J. Martarella. Owen J. Mock. Michael P. Palm Jr. Hudson Nathaniel Pace. Hudson is the recipient of the West Branch Susquehanna Builders Association Award for outstanding GPA, strong work ethic, communication, and a strong commitment to the residential building industry. Kyle R. Rule. Jace Evan Shoemaker. Noah Carson Shutt. Michael Thomas Simon. Luis Torres Jr. Justin Yearwood. Nathan Carsley. Boyd Charles Heckman. President Reed, I proudly present the graduates of Construction Management from the School of Engineering Technologies. Isaiah Paul Barney. Ryan D. Burstler. Mason Ayat Bleffen. Jeremy W. Claypool. Matthew Crow. Matthew Joseph Daly. William J. Friedenberg. Benjamin Z. Heinrich. Blake Michael Jacoby. Connor Brian Laria. Connor is the recipient of the Construction Management Advisory Committee Achievement Award for professionalism, perseverance, positive attitude, and service to the program, and also the North Central PA Chapter Construction Specifications Institute Excellence in Construction Award, Construction Management for Excellence, Professionalism, and Integrity in and Commitment to the Construction Industry. Todd I. Lavish. Thomas J. Lehan, Jr. Danielle Elizabeth Molesky. Danielle is the recipient of the Construction Management Faculty Award for exceptional leadership, professionalism, perseverance, participation, work ethic, and commitment to the field. Yep. 
Trent D. Martin. Trent was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Army Branch Quartermaster, Army Reserve. Michael Dominic Messina. Michael R. Miller. Adam Thomas Rowe. Adam is the recipient of the North Central PA Chapter Construction Specifications Institute Excellence in Construction Award, Construction Management for Excellism, Excellence, Professionalism, Integrity in and Commitment to the Construction Industry. Adam was also commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Army Branched Aviation Active Duty Army. <laughs> Cody J. Smith. William Finley Seleski. Jacob C. Wells. James T. Woods. President Reed. I present to graduates of Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning Engineering Technology, Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning Technology from the School of Engineering Technologies. Thank you. Adam J. Tarnowski. Andrew C. Giffey. Liam Seamus Nunaviller. Nathan C. Euler. Benjamin L. Peck. Colin Richard Roach. Jake G. Scarbeck. Luke F. Adams. Lydia Rose Anderson. Daniel Patrick Ardry. Jaden T. Baker. Holden A. Brooker. Nathan D. Klingen. Jared W. Kossel. Alan Joseph DeLosa, Jr. Tyler P. Dugan. Braden L. Eckerd. Thomas Doherty Harper the Fourth. Joshua R. Hartman. John W. Hooven. Benjamin Call. Thomas W. Lukowski. Benjamin J. Mays. Benjamin is the recipient of the West Branch Susquehanna Builders Association Award for outstanding GPA, strong work ethic, communication, and a strong commitment to the residential building industry. 
Gage Anthony Murphy. William Joseph Rudick. Matthew Sorek. Cole V. Spezzaletti. Benjamin Vo. Kobe Williams. Luke D. Winner. Stephen B. Welkers. President Reed, I proudly present the graduates of Building Automation Engineering Technology, Building Automation Technology, Electrical Construction, Electrical Technology, and Mechatronics Technology, all from the School of Engineering Technologies. Josiah David Friesen. Connor S. Fuente. Tyler M. Geringer. Rowan Gibson. Kyle Andrew Gill. Matthew T. Hammond. Kevin M. Ireland. Shane Keen. John F. Kennedy. Jared C. King. Stephen James Long. John Edward McGuire. Nicholas Michael Mizga. Peter M. Natali. Devin W. Saul. Evan M. Smith. Jesse Wade Swartzlander. Benjamin S. Swigard. Benjamin H. Wagner. Raymond W. Wolf. Patrick Charles Musinski. Phoenix D. Boyles. Brennan James Dugan. Timothy Whitmarsh Ford. Kevin B. Mason. Joshua Danilo Marina. Craig A. Seaschultz. Ashton Caleb Bender.
Carson J. Brubaker. Gavin Christopher Colescott. Andrew M. Francis. Gavin Daniel Fravel. Austin J. Fry. Justin T. Gallup. Jacob Maynard Wrights. Jacob is the recipient of the Electrical Excellence Award for Outstanding Capabilities within the Electrical Field. Michael E. Skalski. Dylan Mark Toback. Sage E. Koch. Carson Sadrudin Musani. Thane Jalen Thomas. Nathan Trapp. President Reed, I present the graduates of Automation Engineering Technology Mechatronics, Automation Engineering Technology Robotics and Automation, Electronics and Computer Engineering Technology from the School of Engineering Technologies. Thank you. Jason Thomas Rauch. <laughs> Alexander Jose Barreto. Sean Dalton Brown. Michael Charles Danto III. Austin Nicholas Dibert. Austin is the recipient of the Automation Engineering Technology Faculty Award for achieving a high GPA in Automation Engineering Technologies. Gerald A. Riley. Lauren Arlene Stauffer. Lauren is the recipient of the Dr. Davy Jane Gilmore Award for Leadership and Service to Penn College. Jonah Ziegler. Thomas P. Dunkelberger. Thomas is the recipient of the Mathematics Faculty Award for Outstanding Achievement in Mathematics. Zachary James Ferris. Brock John Fetchkin. Christopher Stephen Fry, Jr. Joseph A. Jegaday. Nicholas Matthew Seaman. Nicholas is the recipient of the Electronics and Computer Engineering Technology Faculty Award for achieving a high GPA in Electronics and Computer Engineering Technology. Destin L. Snyder. President Reed, it is my honor to present the graduates of Industrial Design, Engineering Design Technology, Engineering CAD Technology from the School of Engineering Technologies. Justin Thomas Baker. <laughs> Julia L. Frazier. Tyler A. Seal. Thank 
Kyle Bohannon. Grant W. Combs. John Crane. Jared L. Critchfield. Kevin T. D'Amico. Dylan Jacob DeWitt. Dylan is the recipient of the Engineering Design Technology Faculty Award for scholastic achievement, interest in the field, and potential for success in the future. Courtney Feast. Jordan Klingler. Warren Edward Knipe. Abigail J. Larson. Elijah B. Peltz. Jonathan C. Schimmel. Taylor Ryan Sist. Brent Edward Taylor. Hayden S. Valinsky. Jonah M. Wood. Nicholas D. Yoder. Vincenzo Giovanni Di Fabrizio. Brian James Hansen. Amir Lawrence Webb. President Reed, I present the graduates of Game and Simulation Programming, Information Assurance and Cybersecurity, Network Administration and Engineering Technology, Software Development and Information Management, and Information Technology, Network and User Support of the School of Engineering Technologies. Logan Pierce. Christian Rodriguez. <laughs> Kyle L. Hoffsmith. Yep. Brandon C. Cap. Clinton John Liebernight. Lawrence Michael Mazurik. <laughs> Nicholas Richard Miller. Yeah. Bailey Michael Murray. Bailey is the recipient of the M&T Bank Award for Excellence in Information Technology, Scholastic Achievement, and Leadership. Mitchell M. Willis. Joshua N. Belker. Lawrence E. Clayton, Jr. Lawrence is the winner of the Information Technology Faculty Award for Scholastic Achievement, Work Ethic, Character, and Contribution to the Department and Fellow Students. Joseph Alexander Cowell. Ryan Charles Mises. Yeah. 
Zachary Matthew Wisner. Grant Daniel Dalsimer. Dimitri P. Greco. Isaiah Leach. Andrew Sudbreck. Dang Tren. Stephen Van Ness. Stephen Van Ness. Brian M. Anderson. Brooke Haley Delp. Ryan Grove. Tanner S. Ramaley. Trent Stats. Michael A. Wynn. Colton James Winkleblack. Yep. Margaret Mackenzie Stutzman. <laughs> Margaret won the Board of Directors Award for Achievement Under Exceptional Circumstances. <laughs> and Michael J. Sormilic. Michael is the recipient of the President's Award for Leadership and Service to the College, the Earth Science Center Service Award for Exceptional Leadership, Professionalism, and Service, and the Dr. Davy Jane Gilmore Award for Leadership and Service to Penn College. Let's give another round of applause to our graduates. As mentioned, our primary goal is to place our graduates in the most competitive position for long-term success. We work closely with industry experts to help you, our graduates, accelerate within your chosen field. As you transition away from Penn College and into your career, I ask for you to share with us what is going well in areas that we can improve. We strive to be the best for our students, and your insight is invaluable for future planning and our future graduates. As graduates, you are now members of the Penn College Alumni Association. On behalf of our Alumni Relations Office, I welcome you to the alumni family. As the main link between you and your alma mater, the Alumni Office will be in touch regularly via email and on social media. We look forward to seeing you back on campus and in your community at future alumni events and activities. So please be sure to keep your contact information updated with us. Six months from now, we will, ask you, we will ask for your participation in the graduate survey. This survey is important because it tells us how you are doing in your career path, as well as to inform future students on job placement rates, average salaries, and other indicators of our degrees that work. Thank you in advance for your assistance. Albert Einstein, the brilliant mathematician, theoretical physicist, and Nobel Prize winner who developed a general theory of relativity once said, your imagination is your preview of life's coming attractions. Graduates, I urge all of you to tap your imagination as you apply what you have learned here with us and forge your unique career paths. Our academic, our academic and industry experts have worked you unapologetically hard in order, to, in order for you to reach this milestone with the purpose of helping you discover 
just how incredible you can be in the place you in the best position for long-term success. You have the skills, the grit, determination to chart your course. You have worked through countless disruptions and pushed yourselves further and harder than what many of you thought was possible. You should be proud. Remain steadfast in your beliefs and focused on your goals. Savor the taste of success and remember what it took to reach this milestone. And more importantly, carry the lessons learned forward on your next journey. This is your time. Thank you for stepping up and stepping forward when others stepped away. Our nation and our communities need more leaders like you. We are extremely proud of what you have accomplished thus far to place your long-term aspirations within your reach. And I can't wait to hear what awaits on the horizon. Congratulations, class of 2023. I invite those who are able to please stand for the singing of the Penn College alma mater. Nestled in our mountains fair on the Susquehanna Stands our beacon shining through alma mater gray and blue as the years continue on, we will sing this song of praise and forever treasure our proud Penn College days, our proud Penn College days. Thank you. The platform party will begin our recessional, followed by the graduates who will be led out of the Community Arts Center by our ushers. Family and guests can follow the graduates' recessional. Congratulations, and please join in one more final round of applause for our graduates. <laughs> <laughs>